You know, metal castings aren't the only thing that goes through NDT. We can also do machine parts, we can do welded parts, we can do parts that are made out of ceramic. So how does this whole process start? Well, it starts by understanding what your quality standards are. Because the standards your parts need will really determine the process we use. Here at American Metal Testing, we are certified to NAS 410 and NADCAP accredited. We offer three methods. The first method is fluorescent penetrant inspection. This method will locate any defects open to the surface. Fluorescent penetrant has a very strict process, and the process starts with first preparing the surface by cleaning. We have to decontaminate the surface. Um, because contamination will not allow penetrant to find the defects open to the surface. After they're clean, we apply a level three high sensitivity fluorescent penetrant. We do this by submerging the part or the component into a bath of the penetrant. And then after we put them in a bath, we rinse them off. You wash the excess penetrant off of the parts. And then after rinsing, we put them into an oven. Just long enough for the parts to be completely dry. Because they need to be dry before we put on a thin layer of dry developer. That allows the penetrant to come back up to the surface so the defects are easier to see. We then use the inspection criteria given to us to determine whether the part either pass or fails the, the certification. We have another method to locate surface imperfections, but also to look at subsurface imperfections as well, called magnetic particle inspection. And this is designed for ferromagnetic material. This would be for materials such as steel, stainless steel, nickel, cobalt, and other ferrous alloys. So if we wanted to go a little deeper than the surface, then we need to go to radiographic inspection or x-ray. An x-ray will allow us to see all the way through the part to provide an understanding of what's going on below the surface. Uh, this information will then help engineers to then determine uh, where there may be internal porosity. This is an IQI, and what's important about that is it helps us mimic the density of the part for while we're viewing the film. Um, you can see porosity, shrink, and any other types of defects that are located beneath the surface. Uh, one of the most important things about radiographic inspection is that you have to orientate the part just right in order for the x-ray beam to come down and locate the defects in the part. And we've been trained to know how to do this efficiently because at American Metal Testing, we want you to have the full picture. Whether the sample size is 10, 100, or 1,000 parts, we can provide you with what you need. Thank you.